Welcome back to the Chad Eastie Show. News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Joining us right now on the phones, national spokesperson for the RNC, Liz Harrington. Liz, good morning. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. Uh, we were we were flipping around uh, during the break and uh, watching. Now, I don't have the audio, but we were watching just the folks on CNN and MSNBC this morning. And Liz, they don't look very happy. No, they don't, because the lie that they've been spinning for over two years, finally, there is full exoneration of that lie, no evidence. Attorney General Barr just laid out the facts in that press conference over and over again on every aspect of the investigation, found no collusion and no obstruction. And finally, their story, their disinformation that they've been spreading for the past two years is being exposed as just that, lies, smears, leaks. And they're not too happy about it because their entire agenda is to try to take down this president, and they failed because the entire premise of this investigation was started on a lie Disinformation, in fact, from Russians, which was paid for by Hillary Clinton and the DNC and then spread throughout the deep state and then leaked to their allies in the media. So the president's completely exonerated. He said this from the beginning, that there was no collusion. And Attorney General Barr, now they're maligning his character and saying he's a hatchet man. The facts speak for themselves. The report speaks for themself, for itself. And the president didn't interfere whatsoever. He didn't exert executive privilege, even though it was his, his right to do. In full transparency, we're all going to see the report very soon, and it shows that there's no collusion and no obstruction. Liz, this, the, the reaction from the left is so predictable because yeah. uh, they've, they, and as you brought up, they've got nothing else. They, and, and, and I was talking about this on the show earlier. Uh, that in order to run in 2020, the only thing the Democrats uh, can really promote is socialist ideas. I mean, that's yeah. that's all they have and the resistance to this president. Uh, to me, this is not going to end today, that the, the Democrats are going to keep moving forward with this. Uh, does, the, does this show desperation? Does this show that they're out of touch? And do you think the American people will continue to buy what they're selling on, as far as the resistance goes uh, to this president? No, the American people are are so sick of this political witch hunt. I think they've long since tuned out because the left and their allies in the media promised them uh, this crazy conspiracy theory that the president was a Russian asset, and all of that came falling apart when when they had this very thorough investigation and very wasteful, costly ta- to taxpayers over thirty million dollars. So the American people under understand this. They get it. They know what the results of this were. And they know what's actually more important to them, which is their daily lives, the economy, whether they have a job, whether they got to keep more of their hard-earned money uh, with the tax cuts that we we see, we saw pass through this president and the Republicans in Congress. I mean, there are real results. There are real things that affect their lives and giving them more freedom. Wages are rising again. Jobs are coming back that they said we're never going to come back. And on the other side, all they have is conspiracy theories to try to undermine this president and the Republican agenda. And all they have, their policy prescriptions are socialists. I mean, that's all they have. They have government takeover of health care to try to kick almost 200 million Americans off their private insurance. It's it's radical ideas. They have, they've embraced this socialist central planning uh, that's called the Green New Deal, which is really just an old socialist delusion and will take us down to complete government takeover of uh, really eliminate the freedom that is so precious in this country. They've embraced radical ideas. That's what they stand for. And they because they can't win on the actual issues. They can't win on the economy. They can't win on this agenda. They can't win on how this president and the Republicans, once we took over, we got jobs coming back into this country. We defeated ISIS. We pulled out of all these bad trade deals and bad Obama administration deals. 
whether it's the climate accord or the Iran deal and so much else. And America is strong again. The economy, we're a good place to invest again. They can't win on those issues. So they will smear and they will malign and they'll push a radical agenda that we know will fail and will take away our freedom. We're visiting with National Spokesperson uh, Liz Harrington uh, of the RNC here on the Chad Hasty Show. Uh, l- l- let's uh, shift gears and talk about uh, something that, you know, Democrat fundraising numbers have been coming out. Uh, something that I think has been underreported and, and not really talked about has been the fundraising strength uh, of President Trump and of the RNC. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, the president, uh, his campaign raised a record for an incumbent president at $30.3 million during uh, the first quarter. And that is all on the backs of a strong grassroots movement because Ninety-nine percent of those donations were from small donors of $200 or less, and his total was more than the top two Democrat candidates, Bernie Sanders and Kamala Harris, combined. And the RNC, we also had a record for an off-year, off-presidential year. We raised over $45.8 million, which was another record, because we, we were pushing out a very strong message of promises made and promises kept. And so we've, we've, we're winning on the issues, and the American people aren't just Distracted by this ridiculous Russia nonsense, uh, they want to support. They want to keep in office a, 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 a guy that actually got this economy roaring again and got us growing again, and so many issues that he promised on, and trying to secure our border and providing leadership on that issue. So every day we're out there just getting the message out and contrasting it with the radical agenda of, of the left in this country, where all the Democrats mainstream candidates are embracing. I mean, this isn't just the front-runner socialist Bernie Sanders. It's Kamala Harris. It's Cory Booker. It's Kirsten Gillibrand. It's Beto O'Rourke. Rob O'Rourke is his real name. Um, I mean, it's all of them are embracing these crazy ideas, and not just government-run health care and government uh, takeover of uh, the Green New Deal. They, they want to throw out the Electoral College. They want to pack the Supreme Court. They want to tear out all our, our our institutions and undermine them just because they lost an election in 2016. It's really something to see, and, and we're energized. I think the fundraising shows that. And one more final point I'd like to make on that. Suddenly, money doesn't matter to the media. Axios yeah. came out with a newsletter and they said, one big thing, money doesn't matter. Oh, because the president's actually raising it now. Because he didn't need to, the money. He he under uh, he spent less than half of what Hillary spent and he beat her because he had a winning message. Uh, but now that he's raising money and, and doing an incredible job in that department, oh, now now they'll attack him for that. Yeah, exactly. So, par for the course. Well, and, and when you look at the, the money factor of this, and, and this is something... And, and you may have to ballpark it uh, if you even have a figure in mind. How expensive is this race in 2020 going to get? You know, Michael Bloomberg has said uh, in the past that he wants to drop like five hundred million dollars uh, right. just to to, to, to uh, he's not even running, uh, but he wants to drop five hundred million dollars to go against Donald Trump. So, I mean, how much how expensive is this going to be? Well, I think the the fundraising goal for Trump, the Trump campaign, is one billion, which we did see a billion dollar election with uh, President Obama, I believe, in uh, it was either in two thousand eight or twenty twelve. But it, to make a comment about uh, Bloomberg, he spent a lot of money in the past with not very good results, trying to push his crazy gun control agenda. Um, he's lost uh, with the voters in many states when he's trying to push his his big government agenda and uh, attacking the Second Amendment. Um, but look, money, we've got, we're getting money from the small donors. It's just, it, it's a fact that the, our base is energized and it's not, you know, Bernie Sanders likes to tout that he's got this army of grassroots support. Well, I think the, the Trump, the Trump army is bigger than Bernie Sanders' army. He's got a lot more supporters uh, than he does, and we see that in, in the in the first numbers coming out this year. Yeah, absolutely. We're visiting with Liz Harrington here on the Chad Hasty Show. Liz, it looks like it's a, a good day for the president uh, and, and really a good day for the nation. It, it won't be talked yeah. about on on uh, on some news channels that way, but it's a uh, – we said this when, when the, the report first came out where there was no collusion, no obstruction. That is ultimately, at the end of the day, 
a great day for this nation, not just for yeah. the president, uh, but but a great day overall. And uh, I, I appreciate you joining us today. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. That's, that's Liz Harrington, national spokesperson, the uh, new national spokesperson for the RNC.